574 Sports and I'm Laura Hoover. As classes resume here at Goshen College, the winter sports are back in action. This week, we turn our attention to men and women's basketball as Allison Freeney, Ben Conn, and our very own Tanner Camp talk about their season so far. Also this week, Tanner Camp is back in the studio with the Maple Leaf Athlete of the Week. All up next here on 574 Sports, here at 91.1 The Globe. Welcome to 574 Sports. My name is Tanner Camp, and along to my right we have junior Allison Berry, nicknamed AB, and he is this week's Maple Leaf Athlete of the Week. AB is averaging 7.6 points on the season while also averaging 7.7 .7 rebounds, which leads the team while shooting 45% from the field. He's one of five Maple Leafs to start in all, in all 20 games, and he's one of the only non-seniors. Uh, against Taylor within that week, he had 7 points and 8 rebounds. And against Mount Vernon Nazarene, he had 11 points and 4 rebounds. A.B., first off, thank you for joining us today. Really appreciate your time. Of course. Um, so, first question, how does it feel to be this week's Maple Leaf Athlete of the Week? Uh, it's a great feeling. That's like the icing on the cake on, of like all the hard work I put in the summer. And like, just like, it's a, it's a team effort. Like, without my teammates, I wouldn't be here. So, my teammates set me up for this so well you know encourage the team you know they have been a big part of you since your arrival here last year um so we kind of talked a little about going into the season uh, what, what was your mindset before you know practices and then the season what was your kind of mindset or what was your goal basically for the season um so i knew that i was becoming an upperclassman a junior so i needed to step up and like be more of a leader on and off the court and improve my work ethic and like lead by example. So over the summer, I used to work out every day and then just trying to prepare myself for the season and just help this, help our team succeed and reach our goals. Cause I knew that, um, that my role was going to be bigger than it was last year. And it's definitely stepped up, but you've definitely delivered for the Maple Leafs this season. So you kind of talked a little bit about, you did some stuff over the summer. What specifically did you focus on or do over the summer to prepare yourself for the season? Um, I've had a lot of new knee issues and just a lot of issues with my core and just lower body. So that's why over the summer I worked with, uh, with some physicians and some other trainers and some specialists to just work on my core and lower body. And it's really paying off, I would say, because like I can get off the floor really easy now and move easier and I'm, a, I'm more mobile and agile so and good uh, you knowing that you haven't really had many injuries if any at all so it's very good to work on that over the summer yeah. um, in your personal opinion how would you say the team is doing both in terms of just the actual games but even more than that just overall chemistry level uh, within within everyone mm -hmm. um, the chemistry the team chemistry this year is had it at its highest it's so much better than it was last year we had good team chemistry last year, but like this year, it's so it's like it's so much more. Like we have a phrase this year called ELE, everyone let everybody love each other. So it's just like we're trying to. That's basically our model. We're trying to live off that and just like trying to hang out with each other more, help each other when we can, and just love each other, you know, and just be there for each other. So that's what makes our team chemistry better this year. And it shows on the court with good ball distribution and everything of that yes. sort. It's a great yes. phrase. Uh, so at this particular point, you know, halfway through the Crossroads League season, getting closer and closer to the end of your junior year, what would you say that your favorite moment of this season has been so far? Uh, my favorite moment, uh, of course, I'd like to go to the uh, Crossroads Championship and then win that and go to Nationals. If, if we did that, that would be my favorite moment. But for now, I would say um, I win over Bethel. Yes, like beating a, a good team like that, they're, um, they're ranked top number 20 in the country. And then there are, like we, we call them last year B-dashes because they're rivals and like they always get all the attention and all the hype. So, and then we've always been like their little brother. So it was nice to beat them and get, get out of their shadow and like get that recognition. So that was really a good feeling. It was like overall as a team, like we just played really well that game. 
And that game was definitely one that people wanted to watch. At home, great crowd, and a win over Bethel, who yes. was ranked at the time. Only three losses in the season, mm-hmm. and Goshen is one of them. Yes. And then, final question, what are you most looking forward to as we're getting closer and closer to the end of your junior season? Um, just, we're at the crossroads of our, of our season right now as a team. I'm just looking for us to step up and just, like, win some games and steal some and just make it to uh, to postseason. I think everyone is looking forward to that, and uh, our seniors deserve that because they've been here for, like, four. Some a guy has been here, Billy Geske, has been here for five years, and I think they all deserve that to go out in a, with a bang, let's say, uh, in a good way, and then just go on to postseason. Playing for the seniors, always a great mindset for mm-hmm. the season. A.B., any final thoughts, comments, inspirational quotes that you want to give? Uh... Go team. <laughs> AB, thank you so much for your time here. Thanks, really appreciate DC. it. Congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you. Once again, I'm Tanner Camp here with Allison Berry here on 574 Sports. Clear. I heard you. You said it right. I, I did. Said, what did you, Tanner? You gave some fantastic answers. Hello everyone, welcome to 574 Sports. My name is Tanner Camp on the, from the Goshen College men's basketball team. And I have with me Allison Priggy from the women's team and Ben Cotton all from the men's team as well. All of us are broadcasters and we're gonna give you the inside scoop about how the season's been going. We've hit about the mid po- midway point here. Allie, we're gonna start with you. Go ahead and just give us a recap so far of especially uh, winter break that we've just finished that off. Um, well, our team right now is 1-19. and 19. Uh, Started off kind of rough out of, uh, you know, with our non-conference games. And as we've been getting into league play, you guys saw we had a really close one with Bethel, a really close one with Huntington. Um, even though the papers aren't showing it right now, the numbers, you know, you can't see it. We've been making a lot of progress. We're really coming together. And I think there's still a lot of time left for us to make a push in league play and hopefully secure ourselves a spot in the league tournament. Yeah, Coach Miller has really found the fountain of you. As you look at last year's team, you lost eight seniors and one assistant coach. She's basically starting over and preparing for the future. One of our biggest struggles in the beginning of the year was uh, our offense. Our defense was so strong, that's what really kept us in games, but we just couldn't get the ball to go in the hoop. And right now, as our offense has been coming along, we've been scoring more points each game. Um, our defense has kind of taken some steps backwards. So right now, one of our main focuses uh, of practice is to just try to be consistent on both ends of the floor rather than um, having a really strong performance on one side. We're trying to balance it out and have a great performance on both ends. And you know, Ali, I would even argue uh, the biggest moment, in my opinion, from what I saw, was the fact that uh, in the first game, a uh, senior Caitlin O'Neill went down with an ACL injury, if I'm correct, and that basically guarantees she's out for the season. And even aside from her play of basketball, just her as a character, for those who know her really well, it's just so unfortunate to see someone like Caitlin go down, and I'm sure that took a heavy toll for the team. Right. She was one of our um, top players, one of our best leaders, a captain for us this year. A lot of the girls uh, look up to Caitlin. She's kind of like our go-to girl on the court, off the court for support, and so when she went down, it, it really took a toll on everyone, especially uh, her twin sister, Carly, who I think has been having a, a hard time with that, knowing that she doesn't have her sister alongside of her for their senior season, but I think that Carly's done a really good job of leading the team by herself, and um, we're looking forward to Caitlin's recovery and having her back. So, And, you know, we wish best of luck to her, best of luck to you guys. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and switch things over to men's basketball. Ben, I know you had a few things about the team. Why don't you go ahead and give those to us? Yes, as John Trofe has transitioned to head coach, his main thing was to play defense. Defense, defense, defense. As one of his things is to play defense, like I said, four or five times. He doesn't care about the offense then because he believes in his team they can score the basket, score the ball. And Ben, I, I know, you know us being players is that he's emphasized that. And even we can even, I say, go as more far as practice that he really does. I mean, there have been times when we practice and we don't ever practice offense with the exception of just some up and down stuff, you know. That idea of, you know, just the offense will come naturally to us, but it's the defensive things that are going to help us win those close ball games. Yes, if you watch any NBA basketball, you can see that the games transition into a free man offense, offense where you just spread out and just create offense for your other team with passing and cutting. 
that's one of the things that John Trump is trying to provide for the Goshen men's team. He believes that his players trust the system and all he cares about is defense. As if you come to practice, you'll see that his players are carrying bricks during defense. They're sliding. They're going all all out during shell drills and everything. And you know that it's been great. You know, I mean, defense was kind of something that I remember from last year. It was important. I mean, everyone can agree defense is important in basketball, but maybe not heavily uh, emphasized. Allie, gonna go over to you. You actually got to commentate one of the games uh, right after one of the games for a doubleheader for you guys. And uh, what were your overall thoughts, knowing that we're about halfway through the Crossroads League season for us? Um, some of the things that Laura and I had talked about during that game when we were broadcasting was how much it seems like you guys try to mix up the defense, make the offense think uh, whether you're in your half-court man-to-man or you extend it into a full-court press, uh, putting a lot of your bigs in the backcourt. Uh, do you guys want to touch a little bit on, on Coach Trove's thought there, trying to mix up the defense? Like, What do you guys prefer defensively? What works best for you? And what's your um, idea there? Well, the whole principle of our defense is to keep the offense guessing. We don't want the other team to be comfortable. So at a time mouse or certain dead balls, we might throw a press at them. Or we might start in a man-on-man defense, but at 12 seconds we switch the zone just to keep them guessing. Our main goal is keep them frustrated and confused about how we're going to guard them. And Tanner, you want to touch up anything else? I would say a big thing is, uh, in a particular player would be a junior, Alison Barry. I mean, coming from last year, he was actually a, just a traditional post player who was only down low. This year, we've seen him even guard some of their best players in terms of the guard position. I mean, against Spring Arbor, uh, he guarded there at point guard. And that's last year, you would have thought, what the heck is going on there? But he's doing a great job with that. And, you know, John Trofe has done a good job of recognizing in matchups and realizing, because, again, defense is important to him. In fact, he uh, recalled back in his day when defense was the only reason he was able to play because he played pretty good defense during his time. Yep. Speaking about Alison Berry, another defensive player is also on the women's team as Kiara Murph is ranking up on the all-time blocks, leaf, blocks as a Maple Leaf as a freshman in a single season. She's currently at 8th place right now, and there's still another half season for Kara Murphy to break the record, if possible. And guys, I think we touched on a lot of different things. Was there anything else for either the women's side, the men's side, that we wanted to add before we wrap things up? Um, being halfway through the season right now, I think for both the men and women's team, it's really exciting to see uh, what strides that each team can take and where they're going to finish in the league. Uh, it's very exciting when we have double headers, especially. Um, but I know I think it's interesting. I think anything could happen, and I'm looking forward to see how this thing plays out. Well, guys, we got definitely had some really good stuff. Once again, Allison Priggy, Ben Cotton, and Tanner Camp, myself. Make sure you stick around and look, keep listening to 574 Sports here on 91.1 The Globe. As we wrap up here on this week of 574 Sports, there are more than just a few games to keep in mind for the upcoming week. As spring semester starts back up for us, here at Goshen College that also means indoor track and field and men's volleyball will be starting to filter into the upcoming schedules. You want to be on the lookout for those sports as well as the remaining half of the basketball season as men and women take back to the court this weekend. Today the Maple Leafs are taking on Marion University out in Indianapolis and the women's game starts at 1 p.m. and the men at 3 p.m. Both teams resume to the court against Indiana Wesleyan University later next week. The men on Tuesday with their tip set for 7 p.m. and the women on Wednesday tip set for 7 p.m. as well. Well, that wraps up all of the schedules for the remaining of the week. And so for all of us here on 574 Sports, have a great day.